Hi everyone, this is Mrs. J. I'm doing a read aloud Ramayana Divine Loophole by Sanjay Patel. And we're on the warrior section in the back of the book, which starts on page 134. Dasarata. With a name like Dasarata, which means 10 chariots, you'd have to be in charge of something. Dasarata is the king of the warrior clan and rules over the kingdom of Kasola from the capital city of Ayudhya. He rules with three queens and four princes, one of whom is Rama. It sounds good to be king, but Dasarata carries a heavy burden from a young age that eventually causes his death. After sending Rama into exile, the guilt-ridden king falls gravely ill and is bedridden. When he awakens, he remembers an episode from when he was hunting as a young man. When he was out in the forest, he heard a sound that he thought was his prey and immediately shot an arrow toward the noise. But he was mistaken, and the arrow had struck down a boy named Charvan, the son of two blind parents. In their grief, the parents spoke a curse upon the king, that some day he too would suffer the fate of losing his dearest son. The memory of the curse brings Dasarata's demise when he realizes that it has come to pass. Kausalya. The first queen and mother of Rama. So how does one give birth to an avatar of Vishnu? Well, according to legend, the gods de delivered a fertility food to King Dars Dasaratha. The king gave half the nectar to the first queen, Kausalya, while the remaining half was divided between Sumitra and Kikei. It's said that since Kausula ate so much of the nectar, it was her destiny to give birth to Rama. Sumitra. The third queen and mother of twin boys Lakshman and Shrek Nuga. The gentle queen is the picture of poise and grace and stands for service and charity. Accordingly, Sumitra raises both of her boys to be in service to Rama and Bharata, which is exactly what they do. When Lakshman decides to join Rama in exile, Sumitra is proud knowing that if her son should die, he would do so in service to Rama. Kikei Kikeyi is the hot-headed second queen who banishes Rama to the jungle for 14 years. But it isn't all Kikeyi's fault. The queen has a hunchback servant made, named Mantra, who makes up a lot of nonsense about how Rama and the first queen will send the second queen packing once he's crowned. Kikeyi falls for this soap opera and gives Rama the boot the first chance she gets. Eventually, Kikeyi realizes that she'd been duped by Mantra and sends her packing, too. Rama the eldest prince of the capital city of Ayodhya and son of the first queen, Kasula. Since Rama is also Vishnu's seventh avatar, the prince is driven by a higher purpose than a desire to be king. Rama's destiny is to rid the world of Ravana and his demon army. To fulfill this mission, the forces of fate conspire to send Rama directly into harm's way. But the blue prince proves time and time again that there is no obstacle that he cannot overcome by simply following his divine mission and building bonds with the animals of the jungle. Vishnu's avatar is said to be the perfect man, so it's no surprise that Rama has been worshipped throughout India. Lakshman Prince of Ayudhya Kingdom and stepbrother to Rama. No matter what Rama is doing, Lakshman is at his side following the lead. Even after Rama is sentenced to exile, Lakshman can't bear to be separated from Rama and choose to endure his brother's punishment along with him. At times a tad clingy, but is extremely loyal. Lakshman will prove to be Rama's most important ally. The two brothers look alike, dress alike, and if Lakshman could have his way, he would probably dye his skin blue. Bharata Brother of Rama and son of the second queen, Kikeyi, despite having a mom who exiled a god so her own could, could, could succeed, Bharata does his best to honor Rama by placing Rama's sandals on the throne to wait for the true king's return. He successfully rules as Rama's representative for 14 years. He is so anxious for Rama to come back that he threatens to set himself on fire if Rama is even a day late. Luckily, the prince returns in time and Bharata welcomes him in a fine fashion. Rama intends to make Lakshman his crown prince once he becomes king, but seeing Bharata's devotion, he changes his mind and gives it to him instead. Bharata is seen as a man of unparalleled virtue and devotion. Shretanuga. Prince of Ayudhya and son of the third queen, Sumitra. 
Since his twin brother Lakshman have more in common with Rama than him, Shratnuga finds affinity with his stepbrother Bharata. The two brothers love clobbering each other with their swords and maces. One time, the prince even manages to clobber Mantra, Kikeyi's servant, after learning that she was spreading gossip. Sita Daughter of King Janak and wife of Rama. According to legend, Sita literally popped out of a plowed field and caught the king's eye. The earth child is thought to be one of the avatars of the goddess Lakshmi, who is Vishnu's eternal sweetheart. I guess it makes sense that if Vishnu is going to be reborn as Rama, he's going to have his wife take the form of Sita. But despite her origins, the princess is both blessed and cursed with divine beauty, as it is her radiance that draws both Rama and Ravana into their great war. <laughs>